This is practice for the long A sound. It can be written as A consonant E, A-I, A-Y. There are a few other ways to write the sound A, but these are the th most common ways, so we'll stick with that. The joke is, what did the stamp say to the envelope? I'll tell you later. Number one, retrain. They needed to retrain the teacher. <laughs> Number two, fake. She put fake icing on the cake and surprised everyone. Fake. Three, pathway. They walked the dog down the pathway. Pathway. Four, quaint. The girl in the hat looked rather quaint. Quaint. Five, subway. They took the subway to get to the movie. Subway. Six, shame. It was a shame that they were not able to go to the store. Shame. Seven, delay. Do not delay. Come buy your toys now. Do not delay. Eight, maybe. Maybe I'll have chocolate ice cream. Maybe. Nine, sustain. They had enough camp food to sustain them for a weekend. Number 10, made. She made a cake. Made. Okay, so now for the spelling. I'll erase this. Number one, retrain. R, E, T, R, A, N. R, E, T, R, A, N. You use the A, I because it's in the middle of a word and not at the very end, it's in the middle of the word and right after it is an N. So the N is very common as well as it's very common with the AI. Next is uh, fake. A K. So it is a uh, F A K with the silent E jumping over the consonant to make the A say its name. So this is a small word. It's the sound is in the middle, but it's a K right after the A sound. And therefore it's most common to see the E at the end jumping over and making the A say its name. Fake. Number three is pathway. P A W A P A W A. So in this case, it is the A Y because the A sound is found at the end of the word. Or syllable. So it's a y at the end to make the a sound. Number four, quaint. Qu a n t. So it's the qu is qu q u a n t. We use the AI for the sound A. It's in the middle of the word, and right after it is an N. And as I mentioned, A, I, N, they come together frequently. Commonly seen together, most common. Uh, 
five is uh, subway. S-a-b-w-a-y. S-a-b-w-a-y. A-y makes the sound A, and it's found at the end of a word. A-Y comes at the end of a word or syllable. Um, it's number six, shame. Sh-A-M. Sh-A-M. And I just put the E at the end. It's a silent E. So the sound is in the middle. The A sounds in the middle but there is an M following. Not an N or an L, but an M. This is a small little word, and therefore we use the magic E to jump over and make the A say its name. Number seven, delay. D E O A. D E O A. A Y is used as it's found at the end of a word for the A sound. Number, um, uh, where am I? Number eight is maybe. M A B E. Maybe. M A B E. This one's a little trickier, but it still follows a rule. The A sound is A Y because I can break this word into two syllables. May B. May B. So it's at the end of the first syllable and therefore we use A-Y. Number nine is sustain. S-a-s-t-a-n. S-a-s-t-a-n. It is A-I as it is found within the word, in the middle of the word you could say, or within the word, and there is an N right after it, sustain. And my last one is made. M A D. M A D. The A is in the middle, the A sound. However, following right after is a D, and therefore, it's a, in a small word, so therefore the E jumps over to make the A say his name. One word I didn't give you tail. T. A O. It's spelled T A O. The A I is found in the middle of the word and it followed by an L. So the rule is the A I is in the middle of the word, frequently found before an L or an N. A I middle of the word before an L or an N. And the answer to the joke is what did the um what did the stamp say to the envelope? He said, stick with me, I'll take your places.